Let's look at another way to open a browser session with Scenario Builder. As in our last example, we're going to create a new scenario. Let's call this one Search NRG Global 2. This time we'll use the Click on Application icon method. When you click OK, you'll see the crosshairs on your screen, indicating that the image capture action is enabled. Mouse over to the Internet Explorer shortcut, then click and drag around the image. When you release the click, the Image Preferences window appears, showing the default settings. We'll name this image IE Icon and keep the rest of the defaults. Clicking Play will execute the action, in this case, opening Internet Explorer. Our next step will be another image capture action. On the Scenario Recorder, click the Capture Image icon. This next step will serve two purposes. One, it will keep our scenario in sync, ensuring that the Google page is loaded before we enter our search criteria. And two, it will place the cursor inside the search box so that again, before we start typing, the cursor is located where it's supposed to be. The image that we're going to capture will include some of the Google logo as well as a portion of the search box. In the image preferences, we'll set the mouse anchor property to center bottom. This tells Scenario Builder where to click, in this case, in the middle of the Google search box. Click play and the step is executed. Now we can enter our search criteria. We're in record mode, so all keystrokes will be recorded. Okay, the last step for the scenario is to click on one of the results from our Google search. We'll use the image capture action one more time. I'll click and drag around the image, click play to execute, and it successfully opens our web page. So let's stop Scenario Recorder. Here you can see the steps that have been compiled in Scenario Builder. I'm going to close our browser and this time I'm going to move the Internet Explorer shortcut to another location on my desktop to test Scenario Builder. See if it can find it. which you can see that it did. However, the scenario seems to be hung up on step four, and I think I know why. This Google search box changes colors depending on whether or not the cursor is in the field. Click the View Failure screenshot, and you can see a picture of the failure, as well as a message about why the step failed. Scenario Builder is well suited for these types of challenges. In this case, we're just going to capture a second image for that action. One will be with the gray border, and the second one will have a blue border. Click the plus sign in the image property, and you'll notice that Find Image Number 2 appears. Right-click to enable Capture Image. I'm going to click in the search field before pressing Control to change the border color to blue. Now I press Control, and click and drag around the image. I'll name this image Google Search Box Blue. You can see you now have two images for this one action. So our scenario will succeed in the case of either image appearing. All right, let's play our scenario and see how it does.
The execution report indicates that our scenario completed successfully. We can set a reference time for our scenario, which establishes a benchmark for future performances to be measured against. Now we'll save our scenario and that's it. We're ready to move on. Thanks for joining us today.